unfortunately, I'm on the four post of ramp today, which is an absolute nightmare. There's the ACC wiring. You can see the red and brown is the power supply and the can is twisted. Looks all right, doesn't it? But I can guarantee, oh, hang on, what's this? See, there's always a clue, isn't there? Oh, nice, look at that hanging down there. Yeah, obviously there's gonna be a broken wire. Well, that's a bit depressing. Looks like we've got a power supply to it and it's still not communicating. Ah, damn. Last one I did of these had uh, no power supply. It's got a ground, it's got power. Damn. So we need to look at the can now. Maybe it's got a broken can line on it. S can. <clears throat> I need to get some camera glasses. I've decided I'm going to start doing this in fir like a first. What's it called? POV, first person view, whatever you call it. Because I just can't do this like this. It's I don't have any assistance to help me film these things and I really also have a lot of work to do. So the boss won't be so happy if I'm like messing around. But I'm doing this as I'm going along, at least I'm not wasting time in that sense. Okay, good. So there's no um, there's no voltage on that can wire. But there's voltage on that one. Right, okay, so we've got a problem with this wire here. Yeah, we got a broken cam wire there. It's pointless measuring resistance, by the way, because it's it's a, it's a sub bus. It's a, it's a slave can. It's like it's not like a real can. It's just a local can, you know, S can. It's nothing like really you can you can measure. No, there will be some sort of resistor, but I don't know what it is. It probably won't be 60. I don't really need to measure the resistance though, do it because it's not connected to hardly anything else. What we need to do is we just need to concentrate on the fact that this wire is completely knackered and now unfortunately, which annoys the hell out of me, I'm going to have to take the bumper off. So it's that one there. Green, grey. Okay, so I'm going to make a report now and tell them to pull the bumper off. Let's pull the bumper off and stop messing around, let's get this done. We'll voltage drop this bad boy until we find find the voltage further up the wire. Now. I'm, on the, I'm on a four poster basically, so I've had to improvise like that. Always remember, like I've shown on probably one of my other videos, just pull this off, this headlamp washer, without removing the pipe here. That way you don't have all this water all over the place. Now then, main harness is all smashed and damaged as I thought. The problem is, you can't really tell by looking on it, but the can goes through this. So the easiest thing to do before we start, ah, <laughs> found it already. Wow. I love it. I just absolutely love it when I find problems. It's not the cam wire, but look at that one there. It's absolutely skanky. That might be one of the parking sensors what ain't working. There's two faults on this job. And one, one of them is the parking sensor. Now it looks damaged, but when you see stuff like this, you can't really zoom in, unfortunately. Look at that there, it's been rubbing. Oh my God, look at that. There's even more wires. Oh man. See, this is the problem. Absolutely ridiculous. People don't do the job right. They root the wires wrong and it starts chafing like hell. Only, purely and simply, because someone couldn't be bothered to basically fix this, what they've snapped off. Now, we've got a massive wiring fault. I guarantee that's probably where the fault is. I have to put the camera down now because, like I said, it's pretty difficult doing this on my own, filming. Um, that might be a K-can there, actually. Sorry, K-can. Uh, S-can. Well, let's hope this is the issue, because if it is, I can just whack some new terminals in there. Right, I'll start investigating and I'll start filming again in a minute, because basically I just can't do it like this. I need to get these glasses. So we found the broken wires. Just checking the vehicle harness from the ICM, Integrated Chassis Management Computer, or module, whatever you want to call it. And there we are. We only had three, we had three volts missing on the can high. So that's good. So basically, from the ICM to this point is okay. And obviously we don't need to go any further. I was gonna show some elaborate testing, but today is no need. So these two, they literally were completely corroded and rubbing away because they haven't been, uh, this hasn't been connected to the car proper. So that's them two sorted. I'll put some new pins in there. Hopefully it's not black, the wiring. If it is, I'm gonna have to chase it all the way up. And this one, hopefully is the reason why one of the sensors doesn't work. That's the sensor side, parking sensors. This is the power supply ground and cannon one. Just that, this is just dedicated, this white one, for the um, ACC sensor. So that's great, really. I mean, we can scope things, but sometimes there's no need. I wish I hadn't have took the bumper off, but then again, it only took five minutes anyway. 
Um, but having said that, it's easy to get to everything because I'm on this four poster today. It's smooth and I've got a lot, a lot of work on. Basically, as I can't show BMW diagrams because I don't want to be sued, here's a quick demonstration of ACC, basically adaptive cruise. It's dead easy. There's no cons. Fault code for that and a fault code for a sensor, a parking sensor. Dead easy. Four wires. You've got terminal 15 for fuse box, ground, and S can high, S can low. Job done. So, so while I'm not happy with that, it's um, absolutely oxidised and corroded. I'm really not happy with it. So I'm just going to basically replace the cam wiring, the low key, the S cam wiring, and the ACC up to this point. A bit more work involved, but we're not going to start messing around at this time of day. It's only going to come back. It's only going to come back if I don't replace them wires. They're absolutely oxidised to hell. Then it might not look so bad, but to the trained eye, they're dry and they're just. There's no, there's no strength to them. You know, I'm just not happy with that at all, really. More so, this one is absolutely gone. It's just, you can't really tell, but it's, it's, it's just crumbled. It's like powder, you know. Yeah, they're not past the Johnson test. I'm gonna, uh, no need to damage these when you take them apart, really. All you need to do is go underneath, push that tab up, and then you just pull it that way, and then. They just come off dead easy. I see a lot of people damage them. And at this one here, there's two tabs at the top, that, that one and that one. You just you just open them and pull it up. So we're just gonna change these wires now. I'm gonna rip the whole out. Just a good tip when you're doing these replacement wires. Just do them one by one and pull everything out when you're done with it, all the old rubbish. What we don't need, like kind of thing. That's an old one, we'll just tape it back. New one is in place. We're just gonna make it good. And obviously it's always handy to do a guide like that and then you, you can't go wrong then really so let's crack on with that and then build this up so i've put this new s can harness in i've made it it looks quite tasty i think and then obviously i've rebuilt the plug with the old put my light on there so you can see i've rebuilt that yellow black uh yellow brown and i've matched it and i've taped the old ones back so then we're going to run this up through to the area where it would damage, which is the the right side and bumper corner. And I've put some nice fleece tape on because we fleece tape. It kind of lubricates because it's so soft, it's not abrasive. So I think we do about another uh, meter of this and we should be right then. And we just zip tie it to the original harness or whatever. And then we'll connect it and uh, check if this has fixed our ACC. Uh, adaptive cruise control radar and if it's fixed it everyone's happy we don't have to pay for a new wiring harness customer can go and enjoy his lovely adaptive cruise control on his way home today because it's a nice day so it's the weather for it so it's nice. so our new harness is there it's the black brown, black yellow brown yellow old one is taped up and we're just following it nice and neat this is the new harness i've made we'll just go around that sensor because someone's put these screws for the additional heater all the way up there and then up into that area there I just need to come around here now. excuse the mess and i've made a new connector because i wasn't happy with this rubbish um it was a bit dog-eared and the seals weren't so good you're wondering what this black stuff is it's re plastic it's liquid plastic the reason i use that is i just don't want this to come back in a couple of weeks and i don't really trust these uh, rubber seals really if i'm being completely and utterly honest with you and that's actually pretty much set now is that but we can still undo everything like no problem i just don't like rubber seals in it's such a bad area i don't want this to come back and with it being a can bus i really think it's daft not to change the connector in that sense so that's why i put that black stuff on just for an extra layer of protection yes what do i do if i need to change the wires in future will i need to probably not um it just breaks off with a bit of effort it doesn't stick that good now all i need to do is fix this wire you know just hopefully make sure that this isn't um too green we've done our uh, ic uh, sorry our icm stroke acc so this one now should be fixed uh, there's lots of faults now this one here the center left that's our broken wire all of these faults here now are to do with the fact that the acc is just not not working because we had the problem with the s cam which is here 
and that problem was the broken K can, no, sorry, K can, S can high, which we've now kind of fixed. So now what we need to turn our attention to is uh, this one. Don't know about the others yet, but we're gonna repair that wire now. And when that wire is repaired, we should get rid of that. And we'll erase all these faults. There's a lot of faults there, but don't worry. It's not a problem when you're a BMW tech, is it? So, let's go back to our Chaotic mess. So, easy need to, way to find out is blue green. Uh, where our centre left is this one. Yeah, it's the same colour. I can't quite see it. I mean, battery's a bit lower, really, but it's the same one. So, we're going to make a new wire from there because I'm not happy with it. One arm resistance or zero arm resistance in that. I'm just checking that wire there, but I'm not happy with it, so I'm gonna make it new one. Just checking it's there. Well, I just did record that. Um, there was no comments to ACC, but that was a previous issue. Uh, as you can see, absolutely no faults. It's still not quite built up yet. But yeah, I'm dead happy with that. I'm absolutely really happy with that. So let's not here because nothing. Cruise is working at least. I've got radar. Let's see if we can recognise traffic, shall we? <clears throat> well, hopefully, we can get it on this road and not have to go on the uh, Kaha 3 motorway. Stick to the speed limit. Speeding in Finland, it's incredibly expensive. Oh, it all seems to be working, which is good. 